A very good morning and jai hind children so children i hope you all are preparing well for your um, half yearly examinations and children we have uh, revised the chapter of chemistry in the previous class that was fiber to fabric we have revised so please go through the exercise part of that chapter and whenever next we are having the zoom interactive class we'll discuss the question answers okay now as you know that this is your biology period and the first chapter of biology is sources of food so today we are going to revise this chapter that is sources of food so children this is your chapter number 1 in the book so please open your book open the chapter sources of food it is very easy chapter you know that there is not much to study in this chapter but yes this chapter is important also so we are going to revise it very quickly the sources of food okay so uh, children what is food and uh, why we eat food yes just think and think about that why we eat food and why the food is required for our body yes so food acts as a fuel in our body so food provides us energy the energy to talk the energy to walk the energy to play all these energies we get it from food yes and what is there inside the food that is providing us all these energies that is called nutrients what are they called they are called nutrients yes so food we eat food every day we start to feel hungry after some time why because our body requires energy our body requires energy to perform various functions regularly starting from waking up in the morning till talking walking doing something even brushing all the things require energy our body is working because of the fuel and that energy that fuel we get it from food okay now you will think what is there inside the food that is giving us energy that is nutrient and what is nutrient nutrients are the chemical substances that is present in the food and it provides us energy so not in this chapter but in the next chapter that is components of food we have also talked about the various types of nutrients that is carbohydrate fats vitamins proteins so all these things are the nutrients that provides us energy and various food items contain such types of nutrients this also we have discussed in the next chapter like do we are going through the revision so you know the concept of that so all these food items contain some nutrient or the other and all these nutrients are present in the food and it is very essential for our body for the growth of our body for development of our body all these types of nutrients are very 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 important okay so what is nutrient nutrients are the chemical substances okay so let's see the pdf so please um children please open the chapter sources of food so we'll see the chapter first okay so sources of food this is chapter number 1 so what is food what is food like car requires diesel and petrol yes car requires diesel and petrol and fuel to run yes and similarly other car engines other uh, like your bike scooty they also require some fuel then only they run then only they uh, like just tabhi wo chalti hai right so all these uh, machinery or engines require fuel to work similarly our body also require a fuel to work like the fuel you use is called food so your body also need fuel to keep it working and the fuel you use is called food so please underline this line this is important okay now the everything in a right
right amount is very important for our body that we know. So the chemical substance in food that your body needs are called nutrients. So the, the food contains nutrients and these are the nutrients that gives us energy. Okay. Now what are the different functions of food? This is important. What apart from giving us energy, what are the other functions that a food perform? So the first very important and the vital function of food is it provides energy. Okay. कोई भी काम करने के लिए हमें खाना खाने की जरूरत है अगर हम खाना नहीं खाते हैं इफ वी डोंट ईट फॉर अ लॉन्गर पीरियड ऑफ टाइम वी फील वेरी डल यस वी फील वेरी हंगरी वी फील वेरी डल वी डोंट फील लाइक डूइंग एनीथिंग यस बिकॉज वी आर एट लॉस ऑफ आर एनर्जी तो जब हम खाना खाएंगे देन विल बिकम स्ट्रॉन्ग एंड देन विल ईट देन विल डू द वेरियस एक्टिविटीज ओके सो फूड प्रोवाइड्स अस एनर्जी सेकेंड It helps the body to grow and replace the worn out cells. So basically children, uh, because you are aware about much more detail about this. So we know that the nutrient, the one nutrient that is protein, that is very essential for our body, helps in the building of our body. Kahi pe chot lag jati hai, kahi pe muscle rupture kar jati hai. So it is protein, the amino acid in the protein that recovers it that heals the wound okay that is called that is the nutrient that is required for our body so protein is also a nutrient that helps our body to grow and replace the worn out cell can you chot lag jati hai so it is protein that builds that muscles okay the next function of food is food protects body from various diseases okay Keeps it fit and healthy. So, like our body, agar hum healthy food kha rahe, agar hum proteinaceous food kha rahe, so our body will have all kinds of minerals. It will have all kinds of vitamins, and all these minerals and vitamins will fight for, like it it acts as a soldier in our body, and it will fight and. कोई भी बाहर के फॉरेन जर्म्स या फॉरेन एंटीजन कुछ भी हमारे बॉडी में आ रहे हैं तो इट विल फाइट फॉर इट एंड प्रोटेक्ट इट विल प्रोटेक्ट आर बॉडी फ्रॉम डिजीजेस गेटिंग इट सो व्हाट आर द थ्री फंक्शंस ऑफ फूड फर्स्ट फंक्शन ऑफ फूड इज इट प्रोवाइड्स एनर्जी सेकेंड हेल्प द बॉडी टू ग्रो एंड रिप्लेस वॉर्न आउट सेल्स थर्ड फंक्शन protect the body from various diseases and keeps our body fit and healthy okay so these are the three important functions of food okay variety of food in india so children uh, we know that india is highly rich in the agriculture field and in india because of its climatic condition because of the variable climatic condition because इंडिया में हर टाइप के सीजन होते हैं वी ऑल्सो हैव रेनी सीजन विंटर सीजन समर सीजन सो ऑल काइंड ऑफ सीजन वी एक्सपीरियंस इन इंडिया दैट इज वाई डिफरेंट डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ फ्रूड एंड डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर क्रॉप्स कैन बी ग्रोन इन इंडिया वेरी वाइडली ओके सो दैट इज वाई इंडिया इज हाईली रिच इन द एग्रीकल्चर सेक्टर ओके Now moving ahead with the ingredients of food. So what is ingredient, children? Ingredient kya hota hai? What is ingredient? So have you ever seen a video of uh, khana khajana or a uh, uh, master chef or something like that? Or even leave that master chef and everything. Uh, you must have seen cooking of food at your home. Yes. So. Take for example Maggi. Most of you must be uh, knowing how to prepare a Maggi. So when you are preparing a Maggi, what all ingredients you put in Maggi? First, you take a water. Yes. So you take water, you boil the water, you put Maggi in it, and then you put a Maggi masala in it and just stir it and eat the Maggi. Yes. So now if I ask you, what are the ingredients in Maggi? So what you will say? The ingredients of Maggi is water, 
maggi that noodles and masala of that okay so these are the ingredients of that food similarly if i talk about tea chai banti hai so if i talk uh, if i ask you what are the ingredients in tea so what you will say the ingredients of tea is water tea leaf sugar milk and whatever else of ginger and everything is there so these are the ingredients of the food okay and children why in this chapter we are talking about ingredients is the we basically will see what are the main sources of these ingredients okay so take for example water take for example salt we are adding or any masala or spices or any uh, vegetable that we are adding in the uh, while cooking any food or while cooking the uh, sabji or something like that so from where we get these ingredients so i hope you are clear about what is ingredient yes so uh, again i am taking one example so that it makes you clear let's take a example of a sabji let's take a example of uh, your favorite sabji maybe you will like uh, gobhi aloo ki sabji okay so if i ask you what are the ingredients in that uh, sabji so you will say tomatoes we have uh, that gobi then we will add spices various like potato so all these things are mixed together even oil so we mix it together to make a very delicious and tasty sabji yes but if i ask you what are the ingredients so these are the ingredients that we add to make any vegetable or make any sabji okay so uh why and from where we get these ingredients so here i have talked about the vegetarian food there are some non vegetarian foods like chicken and mutton and everything so what are the sources of it so children if you look into a deep uh, into the sources of these uh, ingredients you will see that there are two sources of ingredients first is plant and second is animal so basically the ingredients of food the sources of ingredient of food is plant and animal like vegetables spices we get it from plant okay and whenever we are making a non veg item like take for example if we are making chicken or mutton so the source is animal okay similarly if uh, we talk about egg so again the source is animal so all the food item the sources of food item is basically plants and animals except for there is one exception of water and salt so water and salt is an exception so water and salt are two ingredients obtained from earth rest all the ingredients are either obtained from plants or it is obtained from animal except for water and salt so water we get it from earth naturally and salt also we get it from earth naturally okay so water and salt are the two ingredients that are obtained from earth rest all other ingredients are either obtained from plants or animals okay i hope it is clear now moving to the main topic of this chapter that is sources of food okay so children we have seen that there are basically two main source of food that is plant and animal okay there are two basic main sources of food plants and animals okay now from where these plants and animals are getting food and giving us the food so we know that green plants cannot prepare their own food yes so hence they are called producers this we have uh, seen in the uh, next chapters also this we have also studied in the chapter that is living organisms and their surroundings so uh, this green plants cannot prepare their they, like green plants does not depend on other animals for the preparation of food so they prepare their food on their own and hence they are called producers or autotrophs okay and how they prepare their food 
by the presence of carbon dioxide, water, sunlight. So with the help of carbon dioxide, water and sunlight, they prepare their own food. And the process is called children, process is called photosynthesis. So by photosynthesis, green plants prepare their own food and hence the green plants are called producer. They prepare more food than they need. Jitni unko requirement hoti hai, usse zyada food wo banate hai. The extra food is stored in the different parts of the plant. Okay. So the extra food that is there, they are stored in different parts of the plants like in fruit, in the seed, all right, in the leaves, all these things are stored, okay. So, uh, so this was the source and from here we are getting, so as the plants are growing, they are getting matured, they give us vegetables, they give us fruits to eat, they also give us spices to eat, all right. So, First, what is the step? Plants prepare their own food and by preparing their own food, they get the energy or jab unko energy milti hai, to they grow and when they grow, they produce the fruits, vegetables and different types of spices. Okay, so from where there, we get the ingredients for food items. Now, how animals are the source of food? Let's see. So take for example milk. So again milk we get it from either buffalo or cow. Okay. So again it is a source like the source of milk is animal. So from milk we also prepare cheese, butter, ghee, curd, ice cream. So all these things we get it from milk and milk we get it from animal. So again it is a animal source. Egg we get it from animal meat we get it from animal fish we get fish itself is an animal and that we eat okay honey we get it from honey bees and honey bee is also an animal so we can see here that there are two basic sources of food first is plant and second is animal so i hope it is clear so there are certain activities that you need not know so here is the table, so sources uh, like food from plants and we see the food from animals. So here basically as the plants are growing and plants have a different parts. So plant parts are plant has a leaf, plant has root, plant has flowers, they have seeds, they have a stem and they have fruits. So these are the different parts of plants, fruits, leaf, stem, root, flowers and seed. Okay, sare, these are the parts of plants and the these parts of plant stores the extra amount of energy, extra amount of food that is synthesized by the plant and hence they are, they develop and hence we use it. Like if we talk about the fruit of plant, okay, so from the fruit of plant, we get banana, mango, apple. So these all things we get it from fruits, okay, these are the fruits. From leaf, we get spinach, cabbage, coriander. So these are the ingredients that is leafy in nature and basically the leaf of plant is the spinach, coriander and cabbage, okay. A stem from the stem we get potatoes we get sugarcane we get ginger okay so basically all these uh, ingredients grow on the stem part of the plant from root we get reddish tur turnip and carrot all these things grow underground in the root part of the plant seed wheat pea rice all these are seeds of plant flowers Cauliflower, broccoli, all these things are flowers of the plant. So these are the ingredients that we get from different parts of the plant. Okay. So we have seen that uh, the sources of food are two, plants and animals and we have discussed about that. Okay. Now coming on to the food habits of animals. So children, plants prepare their own food and hence they
they are called producers whereas animals cannot prepare their own food they depend on others or we can say that it they depends on the plants basically for their food okay so they are called they are called consumers they are called consumers okay so depending on their food habit animals are divided into further categories like herbivores carnivores we have omnivores scavengers and parasites so these are the animals different types of animals okay depending on their food habit and they are also having different pattern of their teeth and mouth structure so let's see herbivores so the animals that eat plant are called herbivores examples buffaloes cow deer horses are herbivores they have sharp cutting teeth in the front and flat grinding teeth at the back children this is very 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 important you should learn it so herbivores are plant eating animals they are plant eating animals like goat cow buffalo horses they are plant eating animals all right and if you look into their teeth they have a very sharp teeth in the front and they have a flat and grinding teeth at the back okay teeth aage ke sharp hote hain aur piche ke kaise hote hain piche ke grinding teeth hote hain okay so they are herbivores carnivores so carnivores are animal eating or flesh eating uh, animals okay so the animals who eat flesh or meat and other animals they are called carnivores examples are lions tiger wolf dogs dog basically i don't consider it in a carnivores they dogs are omnivores because they can eat plants also they can eat animals also the so dogs snake eagle vulture all they are carnivores okay so the carnivores have a long and sharp teeth okay and the birds have a strong pointed beak to tear the flesh so you can see here you can see the lion and tiger they have a very sharp teeth so that because they are having sharp teeth both flesh or meat we know it is very hard na उसको खाना बहुत मुश्किल होता है तो वॉट वी डू वी नीड अ वेरी शार्प टीथ तो हम उसको शार्प टीथ को ऐसे उसमें लाइक शार्प टीथ आर यूज टू टेयर देम अपार्ट ओके एंड बर्ड्स आर हैविंग अ पॉइंटेड बीक सो दैट दे कैन ईट द फ्लैश स्नेक्स हैव अ स्मॉल टीथ व्हिच आर यूज्ड ओनली टू हेल्प इन सोलोइंग द प्रे एज अ होल सो ए स्नेक दे डोंट च्यू दे डोंट टेयर इट they just engulf it inside okay so they are carnivores so what is important in carnivores carnivores are the flesh eating animals example of carnivores lion tiger vulture wolf all they are carnivores okay and the teeth pattern animals are having very long and sharp teeth birds are having strong beaks and snakes are having small small teeth but it is not generally used in chewing or tearing the flesh they just engulf it inside so it is carnivores now coming on to omnivores omnivores are the animals that eat both plants and animals they are called omnivores humans are omnivores we are omnivores so we can eat both we can eat plants also we can eat animal also okay so bear crow cockroaches all they are omnivores okay so the teeth pattern of omnivores is both we have a grinding teeth at the back and a normal pointed teeth in the front or the flat teeth in the front okay some carnivores and omnivores are known as scavengers now what are scavengers so scavengers are those animals that depend on dead bodies of other animal and they take the nutrient from them they are called scavengers like 
Crow is an scavenger. Chikal is an scavenger. Hyenas are scavengers. Okay. So they are scavengers. Those consume dead bodies of animals. They are called scavengers. And children, these scavengers help in cleaning the environment. So they are generally very important and useful in cleaning the environment by consuming the dead bodies. Okay. They are called scavengers. Then we have parasites. Parasites are the small animals that depend on other living animals for their food like mosquito. So mosquito kya karta hai? It sits on us and suck the blood. Okay. So it depends on living organism for their food. They are called mosquitoes. So mosquito has a long sharp pipe instead of teeth. So everybody has seen a mosquito. Yes. So they have a pointed uh, pipe like structure where they pick it inside our body and they suck the blood okay which is used to pierce the skin and suck the blood fleas leeches and bugs are also parasites some parasites such as tapeworm roundworm hookworm live inside the bodies of animal and eat the food after it has been digested by the animals okay so they are also a type of parasites so children, I'll show you the diagram here. I'll show you other types of uh, scavengers and uh, herbivores. So let's have a look. So this is plants, the food habit. So they are the herbivores. So you can see cow, goat, deer, horses, gorilla or they are herbivores. They are carnivores. See, wolf, lion, the shark, tiger, crocodile, all they are carnivores. Omnivores, human, chimpanzee, dog, rat, monkey, they are omnivores. Scavengers. Crow is an scavenger that depends on dead bodies. Hyena is an scavenger. Vulture is a scavenger. Jakar is a scavenger because they are the animals who eat dead bodies of animals and help to clean the environment. So they are called scavengers. Then we have parasites. Parasites are the small animals that depends on other living organism like mosquito. Okay. So this is a parasite. Okay. So this we have discussed. Now coming on to the last topic of this chapter that is food chain. This is very important. What is food chain? So to persist in the environment, the maintenance of population of each individual species is very, very, very important. Okay. So there is a process of eating and being eaten. Like plants are eaten by grasshoppers. Grasshoppers are eaten by frog. Frog is eaten by a snake and snake is eaten by hawk. And when these hawk die, they are again eaten by a small parasites or they are also eaten by your decomposers like bacteria and fungi. So this process continues in the environment and it is very, very, very important. So let's see what is written in the chapter about the food chain. So this is the last topic. So what is food chain? A food chain shows how each living thing gets its food in a particular environment. So each and every living organism is dependent on others for their food. So we can say that it is a chain of event of eating and being eaten. Okay, like grass is eaten by zebras and zebras are eaten by lion. A small plants are eaten by small fishes and small fishes are eaten by large fishes. Okay. So it means that all animals are dependent on green plants for food either directly or indirectly. So this is a food chain. Plant eaten by grasshopper. Grasshopper is eaten by frog. Frog is eaten by snake. Snake is eaten by eagle. So this is called a food chain. Okay. It is a process of eating and being eaten in an environment. So children, please go through this chapter. Please read the chapter, learn the exercises of the chapter, oral question, very short answer question. So children, um, tomorrow we are having a, a Zoom interactive class. So tomorrow we will be revising the chemistry. 
So I'll give you the few extra questions of the chapter fiber to fabric. So please revise that chapter today. Okay. So fiber to fabric question answer will do tomorrow. Okay. And day after tomorrow that is on Saturday. We will do the question answer of sources of food. So please get ready. So I'll ask you question immediately and you have to answer it. So I hope you got my message. So that's all for today's class children. Hope you have understood this chapter and revised it once. Please read each and every line of this chapter because question can come from anywhere. Okay. So please prepare well for your half yearly exam and do your best. So that's all for today's class children. Thank you and Jai Hind everyone.